Seven Four yesterday. I came to visit a friend of mine. She lives down the road. Seven the burbs. What is it about? What? My vlog. Uh -huh. My vlog just is about like I go around and I video camera myself and then I put it up on YouTube. And then I video camera like things of interest and things that I did. Pizza! Yay! A curly fries! Yum, yum, yum! It's gonna be so unhealthy and I can't wait to just munch in. And don't forget, my, my, my dinner is ice cream! You having ice cream for dinner? We were kids allowed to eat ice cream for dinner. Okay? And she's having her dessert. What's your dessert, Baba? Pizza too. You can't be having pizza for dessert. Early dessert. So guys, you're wondering where are all these kids coming from? Let me tell you. We're just moving tables. Leaving with the restaurant Today I came to Four Ways to hang out with a really good friend of mine. Whom I'll probably talk into coming into the vlog one of these good days. There she is. Her name's Chantal. You'll know her as Silk Helmet Lady. Hello, guys. And you'll be seeing her on the vlog with all her hair stuff. And she'll also have her own vlog. She'll also be getting a vlog. And an expiring vlog in the background over there. So guys, you'll be probably be seeing a lot of tag challenges and tag team stuff from us on YouTube. And but the reason why we're here tonight is to celebrate the two young ones ballet. Well, it's not their first performance. They've become pros, but every year they do a ballet concert at school. And um, so tonight was another day, and they were fantastic. We had um, the Little Mermaid, <laughs> and we had a crab. And we had a, what are you, what, are, what were you doing? A tropical fish. A tropical fish, not just a fish, a tropical fish, I tell you. So we, we've done the concert, it's finished, and now we're having an unhealthy supper, and then we're going to put everybody to bed. Uh, no! <laughs> Bye, guys. No, we're not, everybody. We are going to have more pizza. And TV! And TV. No. He's so uh, no TV, oh, it's a school night. Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing really well. I've had a really good day actually. Um, I went to class today. It was a full day of class and like studies and you know proper. And um, and then afterwards I went to get some stuff. Um, I went to get some hair stuff in particular because um, I'm trying to get into a habit of doing my hair a lot more. You guys have seen me, you saw from the last video when um, I, had, I had that um, head wrap on, that head scarf. Now, um, in South Africa, we call it a duk. It's the Afrikaans name for head wrap, and Afrikaans is one of the 11 official languages. So, um, it is, um, it's a really bad habit, because I always cover my hair up and no one ever sees it and people, you know, like this week because I've had the twist on, people have exclaimed and said, oh, we haven't seen your hair out in so long. Oh my gosh, you still have hair underneath all of that. And, you know, like just people just really going out and joking it up. And even now you can see these twists out, the, these flat twists were supposed to last, you know, like a day. And I've had them since, I think, Sunday. And if you have any suggestions, just leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do and you know it's been really great but um, before I finish this vlog because I'm about to finish it and go start editing my second video I hope you guys let me know what you thought about the first edit the first video that I put up like two days ago um, but I, I had never edited before that it was like my first edit so now, this is going to be my second edit, and I hope you guys will be able to see an improvement from video to video. And you guys know, I've already told you I'm a student, and there's a lot happening in terms of um, student life in South Africa, not necessarily at my university, but in South Africa as a whole. 
In particular, there's a university in the Western Cape, one of South Africa's, actually one of South Africa's well-known and internationally acclaimed universities, where students are demanding that the, a statue of Cecil John Rhodes be taken down. So there has been a lot of protesting from the students and covering up of the statue and basically saying that they wanted to put down. Now to you guys it might seem like, oh, these students are being unruly, but basically what they're trying to address is this idea of transformation in universities. Now as you know, in South Africa we have had um, apartheid. In most African countries have been colonized by you know, some country or another. However, in South Africa, we had colonialism, and then after colonialism, we had apartheid. Now, apartheid, or apartheid, as we like to call it, um, you know, was, was, was really horrific. It, it, it pushed discrimination, ra racial discrimination, just, you know, to another level altogether. It probably, you know, was a full stop away from slavery, basically. And um, so we've had, we've since had independence in 1994, but, you know, transformation is not just um, political transformation. There's also economic transformation, there's social transformation, and there's all sorts, and all of these things need to be addressed. And as much as South Africa has, you know, we, we all have the right to vote, there's still many places where these transformations haven't happened. Transformation is really important because we know that if you ignore it, it's going to keep on rearing its ugly head. And I'm not saying that you guys, you know, you must pick up placards and start reading Karl Marx and spewing out, you know, the Communist Manifesto. But I think that if, for instance, you're a student and you're watching this blog, it's very important for you to know what's going on and to understand what it is that influences the ideas that are going around around you and the policies that are being made for you, actually. Um, this is what's going on right now at South African universities, and I hope that this blog can be a place where you can learn a little bit more about what's happening in South Africa, and I can let you know about what's happening in our university, and you could share your experiences at your university also, or you know, experiences about your country because I would like to learn from you as much as I hope you get to learn from me. Anyway, thumbs up for this video. Bye.